everyone. Thank you so much for coming to this um, watercolor um, purple, I guess bluish purple iris. Uh, it's so much fun. Um, a while ago, I have um, I put I uploaded a video on uh, the process of art making on my iris that's around my house, and so in that video I did the sitting down and sketching um, real time with the real flower there, real flowers there, and so I gather a lot of information, and so I promised that I will actually do one of the um, one of the final. Uh, I was uh, follow paint along and so this is it and now uh, um, this for this iris is not quite like the one that I have out there in my yard it actually has um, a deeper which is more like the the neighbor uh, one of my neighbors iris they have you know the, the kind of iris that had deeper color down in the bottom and so I uh, thought about it and like to do that and so this is what I come up with and so um, while you were painting along at the very end I left you without finishing all the you know I show you a big part of all the veins right and so the veins of the petals and so I added this part over here this part over here and I actually used this um, you use this uh, you know from Oriental uh, our supply is called HO zero and so that's kind of fun you know, because um, like, let me wet this. If I wet it, and then I really come to a very, very fine point. However, this is the one that I'm usually I usually use is from uh, Princeton, and I got it from Black Art Material. And uh, if you can look at the two of them, um, they're quite different. But uh, the majority of the veins were done with this one. And I told you that I was going to pull this one out. And I promised and I didn't follow up with my promise right away. So I did that and I did some of the thing. And I'm sure that in the future video, we will have chance to try this one. Okay, this one come to a very, very fine point. However, um, it, the, the belly is not as full as this. So um, you can't, you have to work with it to pick up a lot of pigments. So that is the, a problem, but it's not really that much trouble. We always get used to our paintbrush. So these are the paintbrush that we're gonna use that I did. Oh, not not this one. That is an old uh, Daniel Smith one. Actually, they discontinue it. I don't know why. Uh, the Happy Dot and the Flow Brush and this number two. Okay. And then uh, we're going to use the uh, Dioxazine Purple and also the Quinacridone Violet. I don't know. Oh, yeah, there it is. And the Quinacridone Violet. Okay. Uh, for this part and then my green color mix and some paint spray. Okay, usually it's just kind of kind of like the standard and so um, I explain a lot you know so you will be able to get a drawing of this on my blog a post that I hope will get up before I, I post this on YouTube but then I will you know just kind of have a sketch and do that uh, you know of a line drawing pencil drawing for you uh, to go fetch on my blog post called sunsetpeony.com and so um, I think that's it. That's all I have to say here. And um, with a little bit of background, of course, I added that. And so I hope you guys have fun and uh, enjoy painting along um, with me. And um, if uh, there's any question or anything, just leave me a comment and just uh, have fun and follow along. And uh, uh, I think this one will be really fun and this one is actually quite close quite quite similar to the uh, watercolor poppies um, it's quite like the same style I just uh, pull the watercolor um, along and then pull it out and so this is like mainly just one layer so uh, one intense layer nonetheless and so I uh, add some violet in there just for a variety of blue color but anyway I hope you guys enjoy that Okay, and we will stop talking and get painting. Thank you, and remember to subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much. Okay, let's get started. But uh, the first thing we get started is um, I'm looking at my pencil drawing. Listen to my voice, it's awful, isn't it? Um, that's what COVID does to you. <laughs> you just. Um, you know, lose your voice. I lose my voice totally for over two weeks, and now it's uh, 
getting better. But um, anyway, so you can see that I this is my common practice. I kind of wanted to, uh, because this part is yellow over here, so I kind of wanted to uh, make sure the, the pencil line is at, as light as I can do that. And so what uh, this drawing really is, so um, I, uh, you know, I had a practice. And so I, uh, you know, the major part of the, uh, uh, okay, let's talk about this first, okay? We're gonna, today I'm going to start with my uh, flow brush and I'm going to zoom you in a little bit so that you can see better and just try to remember to, you know, <laughs> to, you know, move my painting, right? Okay, so just use the flow brush and then I'm going to use the dioxazine purple, which is uh, this one. Don't worry about all these, okay? It will be on the on the blog post and then the quinacridone violet also. Uh, just a little bit of it and then my um, mainly is going to be my green mix. And uh, don't worry about the green mix. If you go to my blog post, almost single, every single blog post I talk about my green mix, okay? So nothing to worry about. Just, um, you know, go read it, relax and uh, maybe watch this once and then watch and then uh, you know at once first okay now today we're gonna start with this um, uh, flow brush okay I'm going into the you know uh, it's damp right and I have this my little towel over here next to me you know after I dip the, my brush in water I will go over there and uh, pick up my uh, uh, my paint okay so now it's uh, kind of full of paint okay I'm just no reason why but I'm just gonna start over here okay and uh, make sure that I'm in frame and you guys can see me okay and this is just uh, mainly you know pigment of course there's water in here but not a lot okay now so I want this petal right here to go behind this one and uh, it might seem ambiguous ambiguous to you right now but um it won't be after I, uh, you know, as we pro progress, okay? And so you can see that I just outline it. Now clean my brush, and I'm going to pull this, pull this uh, pigment out, okay? So it's very watery and watercolor like, and it's very very pretty. So this uh, painting today that we're gonna do is actually somewhat like the, uh, the style is actually somewhat like the. Um, Maybe a little bit more careful, it might take a little bit more time, but it really is somewhat like the um, uh, the uh, uh, poppies that you guys so much like. Okay, everybody like the poppy painting, right? And some of you, uh, I hope that had follow along, okay? And uh, now for these petals that are up on the top, it's going to be like less intense than the petal down here, okay? And, you know, so that we can uh, you know, truly capture what nature intend them to be. Okay, and so I'm pulling the, I'm pulling the color out. Okay, uh, if I feel like oh this is not intense enough, then I might just dip it in the pigment. Okay, and then drop a little bit over here. I I always like to drop when where the curve is, because you know that's when the flower likes to bend, and that's usually when they uh, appear like they have more pigment over there. Okay, and then I pull it over. It's almost nothing almost to nothing okay and then that's how we're gonna work the <coughs> work our painting today okay so we're gonna continue to do the uh, you can say kind of outline it you know and uh, continue to pull the pigment out you know with a with a clean brush sometimes you know and this is a very very good uh, uh, painting for you to see how I play with water or how I manage my watercolor okay now i'm dropping a little bit of pigment over there and i wanted to drop a little bit over here now uh, because you know we are watercolorists right and so we absolutely love our watercolor and the nature of the color okay and so what we're gonna do is there's a there's kind of look like there's a fold over here okay and we can further enhance it in a little bit when we um, come in and do the veins the veins of the of the uh, of the petals okay and so over here I kind of want it kind of light because why is that because um, you know you got to you know have some part of the uh, flower kind of facing the light so you don't actually see the line it is folded over you know it's kind of folded over 
and so we don't uh, line it we don't outline it as much okay just over there you know it's just my artist um, my artist uh, rendition my uh, you know how I look at it you know how I plan it so I liked it uh, as I was practicing so I am going to do that okay and um, I had a lot of fun so what I did is I um, you know a while back you know maybe a month or two ago I actually went outside right I hope you guys have watched that video where um, I call it the process of art making and uh, when my iris was all blooming now um, and so I did a uh, sketching right there in front of you uh, you know sketching in nature and so now what, what I do is I like, put a little bit of pigment and then I pull it out with a clean brush okay you know we just keep going and you can already see that um, the the uh, petal is already coming into place okay and it's quite pretty if I may say so and I quite like it okay and so I did a process of art making and I went outside and sit on the ground next to my um, next to my iris which are this kind of iris but actually the bottom part is actually lighter but I decided to make this more intense just that it benefit us as a me as an artist okay um, so that we can you know have the difference between the top pedal and the bottom pedal that's just my design okay now I'm going to what I'm gonna do is do the vein over here okay for now still the same brush uh, but try to make the tip of the brush kinda you know more you know when you okay you know I'll just show you when you go into your your pigment okay you know you kinda play around with the brush right and so I'm obviously this is a very dilute pigment if I wanted more intense pigment I go into this cluster right here okay but I'm going to I shape my brush by just going like this okay and so that will help me you know make the brush a little bit more you know because I what I am doing is I'm now you can see that I want a sharp line right want a little bit of sharp line now I don't like that that the pigment is not quite intense so I go in and go to the more intense part and uh, you know and uh, and uh, pick up some more pigment now you can see that the line I'm doing the vein the central part of the vein now the reason why the vein is really good for us is because this will help us uh, you can see the shape right more you can just you're not your eye will actually follow it okay so I kind of want it kind of uh, sharpish okay and then I come over here but I do broken line I do don't do one straight line through okay because that's the nature of the I, uh, the, of the iris okay and so it make it more like uh, more artistic okay you do a little of a broken line however you like to do it but um, you know uh, try not to do a straight line okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to either okay let's do this part over here okay this is a the, the this part the way I draw it is a folded a folded part of the petal okay so it fold up so it's very pretty and so what I did is I uh, actually went out and I now where the folded part is I want the color to be more intense okay so I'm going in with the purple color again okay and try not to you know disturb this part of the other petal on the other side but I'm going to try to make this part the color a little bit more intense okay but not um, not all together without water okay you you see me I'm doing this like with more intense pigment but I still come in with uh, kind of dryish dry the brush brush in on my towel a little bit better okay and pull a little bit of the pigment so even though it's still more intense but I still like to have the white of the water in there okay so I will uh, you know keep doing that so you can see what I'm doing okay so I'm leaving some white because that's just you know that's just about flowers right flowers uh, you know just like with the poppy poppy is actually a very intense red color but I still leave white because that's what watercolor can give us watercolor is very very pretty when you um, try to leave the white of the paper okay so we try to do that as much as we can and uh, how much white do we leave that will be you know uh, as you become more uh, longer of an artist you will know uh, how much white you wanted to leave but as of right now you can just follow me okay now um, I as I always tell you I uh, I uh, do not 
like to do one color of purple, okay? So I'm going into my Quinagadong Violet, like right there, okay? Because that's from the same family, right? And I'm going to sneak some of that in, okay? Not a lot, but just a little bit, okay? You can see that. Now there's uh, the color just come to life, okay? It's so fun. That's what watercolor can give you, and we're going to take full advantage of that, okay? And so I'm coming, I'm working, working the petal that's folded, okay? So the reason why this is more intense is I'm going to distinguish the, that it is folded to your eye than this part, okay? And we're going to further uh, uh, illustrate or further enhance that by uh, doing the, when we go down to the details, okay? And so let's uh, keep doing that. Now I'm, when, when this uh, water is still wet, I'm dropping, I'm dropping some more intense uh, purple, blue purple into it, okay? So if you have a blue purple color, then that will be nice for you. Then you can, uh, oh, actually in my original drawing, there is a divot over here that I didn't see. And so I'm going to, I'm going to, like right now that I can see it, of course I'm going to, you know, so it make this uh, petal uh, more stylish, okay? So I'm going to uh, do that. And so what I was telling you, is that uh, so um, a month ago I did that uh, the process of art making that's the whole process of when I was sketching the petal okay when I was sketching the flower uh, when you were sketching then you learn to get to know the flower better right and so now this uh, you can I think I'm sure that you can tell it distinguished that there's something different about this side this little part than the rest okay and that's intentional and very happy okay and so what I'm going to do is like when this is a little bit wet I'm going to work on this part of the flower okay this part of the this is one petal there's another petal over here okay and now in the beginning the painting maybe is a little bit uh, hard for you to understand what I'm doing but you will of course I will have a finished painting uh, for you guys to follow along which is kind of fun okay it's for you guys to actually uh, see it on the corner right like I always do and so while I was uh, going out okay so I'm doing the same thing here the same as this okay so I'm just working the petal I'm uh, leaving some white as I go and uh, just uh, having fun okay now all this you know you you might want to ask me say how do you make decision well sometimes when you look at the flower that's how you make decision of when to leave the white but wherever the sun, I wanted it to come in, then I will make that part a little bit lighter, okay? And uh, not as intense, you know, I'm dropping uh, just a little drop of color here and there, okay? And then I keep going, and then when I'm, as I'm coming down, then I'm making the color a little bit more intense, okay? And that's very artistic, and uh, that is what you will be able to do as you, uh, as you practice more. You know, uh, you, it will just become second nature to you and, uh, you know, become more artistic to you because then you will be able to make decisions like that and uh, not have to worry about it, you know, because it's just experience, 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 okay? Okay, and so, okay, I'm really going to get to the point of my story <laughs> about the sketching. Okay, so I, um, as I was sketching, um, I... Uh, look at a lot a lot of flowers right I'm sitting there okay let's work on this part because we before we do the middle vein okay now this part you know even in my uh, in my uh, in my uh, practice I want it to be a little bit light okay so not to compete with this side of the petal okay so that's what I'm going to do right now okay um, and so I'm out there and I'm observing and having a lot of fun right and so I you know, uh, watch a lot, and I see a lot of um, of uh, my iris because uh, I think I show you on that uh, the process of art making. Okay, now not too intense. Okay, right? Just a, but a little bit more, just a little bit more. Um, uh, as I was doing that, and now I'm going to do the vein. Okay, um, as I was doing that, I uh, take a lot of pictures of different form and shape. And I just study it through the months, you know, and I, I knew that when I was uh, during my COVID time, the last couple of weeks, I, uh, I'm going to get well and hopefully my voice will come back and I'm going to do this painting, right? And so I actually go back to my uh, sketch. Oh, I have my sketch over here. I can actually show you. 
this this was my sketch okay that was in one of the YouTube video you can actually go back and look at that I go back to my sketch and I look at it very intensely and I think about it and think about it and then I look at a lot of different picture okay now this uh, vein over here is also not a strict not a full line okay a broken vein okay the line is broken here and there because that I find that that is very pretty to do it that way okay and if you like that, then you can follow me or, along. But if you like to do a, a vein, then um, you can do that too, you know, just one vein. And now I'm using a clean brush and I'm kind of pulling a little bit of color out, but leaving the more intense part there as it is intense, okay? And so now uh, let's uh, work down here on this petal, okay? Now this is the line right here. You can see that right now to separate this petal from this petal, okay? So I'm going to do the line and there's a hole right here and what I'm going to do is I'm going to erase this line right here. That's what artists do, okay? As we go, we, we just kind of carefully... Okay, I'm making the hole a little bit larger, okay? And then we'll I'll show you what I'm going to do with it quickly. <laughs> I shouldn't dawdle. <laughs> okay, go back to the pigment, okay? Now, over here is the edge of the second petal, and so I want it to be still be intense, okay? So I'm coming in here. And now this my uh, I'm butting it against the other folding uh, petal, and that is okay, you know, because lucky for us, for iris, there are lines, there are veins on the flower, and so as we do the veins, it will separate these two areas, so it wouldn't be just like a, you know, I, I hate to call it a big mess. It's not a mess. It's uh, ambiguous. Okay, it wouldn't be. Okay, so we're gonna let the flower help us to make this into a beautiful painting, okay? So, a little bit a little bit more intense because I'm trying to separate the the you know, the two petal, okay? I'm I have a lot of pigment here, so I'm pulling the pigment from this spot and then pulling it and you know, trying to line it over here, okay? Okay, only this spot, okay? Because I don't want this two petal to be more intense. The petal down here will be more intense, okay? And so I'm pulling out color and I say, oh, I can use a little bit more intensity here. Then I go, oh, did I just, oh, okay. I just uh, painted over my little hole that I was gonna, okay, so I'm not going to touch that, okay? I'm going to, because there's not a lot of pigment there, so I'm just gonna let it dry and then come back and fix that, okay? Wow, isn't that fun? I just, uh, right in front of you, let you see that. I uh, was talking and didn't um, pay much attention of just I just did that pencil line right as you saw that <laughs> but that's okay you see that, that this is how I deal with my um, little mistake I am totally uh, not worried about but I do need to let it dry okay and so that I will go in and let you see how I'm gonna fix that okay now uh, over here uh, we would like to have a little bit of um, of the pigment, you know, just a tiny a little bit, okay? So that's what I'm just doing, just tiny little bit. And maybe I will do a tiny little bit over here, but I don't think that is needed. And so what I'm going to do is at this point is I'm going to add green, okay? In the middle of the painting, I'm adding some green over there. It's because why? Because uh, from my photo, I know that. And so I'm going into my green mix and I'm mixing a little bit of perline green, just a little bit of my perline green over here. Okay, and I'm mixing it. I pull the sap green up. So I want more sap and a little bit of perline to just darken it just ever so slightly, okay? And so this is a very good part for you to see. Okay, now I'm, uh, I slap on the pigment right there, okay? Okay, you see the pigment and I'm going to bring it all the way up because that's how the, how the color is. And before it has a chance to dry, I'm going to come in and vigorously soften the green okay because it is still a purple flower okay so I don't want a lot of green over there okay and so just this much and more intense down here okay now before this part is dry I'm going into my pink spray which I always use and then I'm going to come in here and drop some pink spray in this area why I'm doing why am I doing that because this will further make this uh, petal look like a cup because I'm darkening this area okay and so when I add pink gray, it pushes this part of the flower back. And so, and this part is more light, so the 
uh, you know, and with the help of the line, then it makes the flower look like a really pretty cup over here, okay? And so I just put in a little bit more pink gray because I think I needed it to make this part further a little bit darker and I'm absolutely happy with the way it looks right now. Okay, so I'm just gonna leave that alone and I'm gonna add some green over here. Okay, just a little bit of green and I'm not even going to fuss with it. Now, um, the same thing with this side, but should I do it now or should I do it later? Now this side I'm not going to do it and I will tell you why, not yet, okay? And so now this area, remember this uh, little part right here? I'm still gonna let it dry, okay? So now I'm gonna go to uh, somewhere else. Let's go do this petal right here, okay? The bottom one. And this has a little yellow, okay, as my... Uh, and also you can see that over there, and that's uh, the yellow part. And so I'm gonna leave the yellow part, I'm just gonna do the purple, okay? Now, since I wanted this one, two, three petal to be more intense, I'm going to do that, okay? So I'm gonna do this one, because it's the center and the middle one, so I'm just gonna let you see that. Okay, so I have my nice brush and I'm going into my pigment, okay? Now, like I say, I want this area to be strong, okay? So I'm very, very intense pigment right now, okay? Pull, pulling the, I mean, putting the pigment down onto the, onto the petal, okay? Now, so remember, um, I always um, talk about this. Uh, dioxazine purple and anything that is purple in color, okay they are very very uh, sedimentary okay so once you once they landed on your page it is almost uh, impossible to get them out okay and so um, just something that you wanted to keep in mind so do not uh, um, like have plans that oh if I make like I don't want to do something I'll just come in and scrub it out you know as you can see that I don't really scrub much uh, I don't know if you notice that. If you don't, I'm just going to tell you. I am not a scrubber. I don't really scrub much unless I absolutely, there's a reason why I have to. And as of right now, I can't like really think of any reason. So I'm sure that as you follow along with uh, my painting through the years, you will know that I'm not a scrubber, okay? So now more intense pigment over here, okay? And so just so that you know, now with red color, you can kind of scrub it out sometimes if you really want to but uh, it will kind of leave a leave a mess and i don't really like that but uh with purple it is a very very hard thing for you if you feel like that you um really you know like i the reason why i say that is sometimes with um <sighs> painting that are done like maybe uh, 15 20 years or you know or longer uh, those people like to scrub the artists like to scrub their painting they like to scrub watercolor, and I don't see a lot of that happening. Like after they paint, they just go in and scrub things a lot, okay? And uh, I don't really, um, you know, because of my, I think it's because of my Chinese uh, watercolor painting uh, uh, discipline, okay? Um, we are, you know, as you put the, as you put the color in, and that's it, you know, because also of the uh, shuang, the. Um, watercolor rice paper there's no 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 place that you can do for scrubbing and so I don't do that um, and so I'm uh, very very um, careful and determined once my color is usually put down then I'm done okay now you can see that this I'm doing a very intense pigment compared to this area okay and there is a, a iris that is like that and it's in my neighbor's house not my house mine are all light but I kind of like that and I I kind of wanted to do an intense pigment as I was practicing so I just went ahead and decided to do this and I end up liking it okay and so now I'm going to actually uh, get some uh, clean brush and uh, now th uh, at this point because the pigment are so intense your brush should not have much water when you are trying to soften the edges like here okay now the reason why is because if you have a lot of water it will go back you know kind of bloom back okay like this happening over there a little bit and uh, it's very pleasing to me so I'm not going to do anything about it but uh, as you know that if you put a, a very watery thing with the sedimentary color it will go backward okay if the water will push the pigment back and then sometime you might have a mess and sometimes it might be just a happy accident 
you know, I am an artist that I am a watercolor artist that really like the bloom, the the effect of the water. So I don't let that bother me a lot. But I think that uh, with a lot of beginners, they uh, they uh, it bothers them. So if it, you are someone who you know really uh, don't like to be bothered by the the watercolor effect of uh, mixing a lot of water with pigment, then uh, try to uh, make your brush a little bit more um, when you like at this point. Okay, I wanted to soften this area right here. For example, I don't need to, but I'm gonna do it. And I go back into my water. Okay, and I dry my brush and make sure that it's quite dry. Okay, when you try to soften this area or push this area out. Okay, and then because there's not a lot of water you put down on the paper, it won't do the big, the big push. You know, back with the pigment, right? I hope that makes sense. <laughs> I try my best to explain that part. Okay, I'm gonna keep going and tell you about uh, so what happened, you know. Uh, and so I look at a lot of pictures because I took a lot of pictures of this uh, of my own iris uh, because I know I'm anticipating that I'm going to do this, right? I'm gonna come in and do this uh, painting. And so I did that, uh, uh, take a lot of pictures. And so uh, yesterday, um, when I'm finally feeling better, I say, okay, it's time to, you know, put all of my thought that I've been painting for the last two weeks during COVID together. And uh, now it's time to um, uh, do the composition or do the design, okay? Now, the design part really is the hardest part of, an, uh, of being an artist, okay? Because you need to design this flower right here, right? And so I have so many pictures. And so I went in and I, uh, and I took one of them and I say, you know, I want the overall shape, okay? And so what I did is I, uh, uh, I once again, you know, go draw the overall shape, okay? And then, but then what I tell myself I wanted to do is I wanted to, um, I wanted to just, uh, because I have seen and draw so many of this, I'm going to just, uh, after I uh, decided on the shape, I actually went in without looking at any flowers and just draw the, draw the um, petal out myself from my brain, brain, you know? You know, what I have remembered and what I think that it ought to look like. And I find that that uh, turned out to be very good. Every time I do that, I do that. I actually do that kind of thing a lot because that's just the way I am. And uh, I, I, I like to, you know, um, just do that. Okay, now this is this is done. This petal is, is done, okay? For the purple part anyway. So I hope you really like that. But uh, just the purple, but not the vein, okay? We still need to go back in and do the vein. And so you might want to say, Kathy, you know, we're talking so much. Yes. <laughs> okay. Uh, the center rain first, okay? Can you see that it's still a little bit wet over there? And so um, the vein is dispersing and I find that very, very pretty. And so I'm just gonna let that be. Just absolutely love that, okay? Now not, uh, well, maybe I'll go up a little bit more, but not a lot, okay? And so what I did is, you know, I just went in and I, I say, okay, but this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna draw a shape here, and then I draw this. I want this one to go up a little bit, okay? So I draw a shape over here, and then I just kind of go into my head and get the part myself because I don't have a picture of a perfect one. This is not perfect. I wouldn't say that this is perfect, but it's something that I'm excited about. So I just kind of draw this. I draw the side. I draw this side, and I draw this and draw that. Just, um, just looking at the paper and put that down. And I thought I always find that kind of uh, things. Uh, that's the most creative part, and that's like really the part that I really, really love. You know. So I just wanted to share that with you. And then as you uh, have more experience with drawing, which I always uh, encourage uh, you guys to do, right? And I'm going to make more video that I will draw with you. And then you can see all the mistakes that I make. We'll make mistakes together. And then it will help us to become a creator of an art. So I created these petals, you know, without having some, um, uh, you know, I have reference, but not a lot, okay? Now, remember this part, there's a hole. I wanted this two petals to have a hole in between, right? And I, uh, so I was talking and painting and I just paint over it. So now that it's dry, I'm coming back here. And I'm going to reclaim my hole. Okay? 
That's what I'm doing, and so I wanted you guys to see that. It is quite hard for me sometimes. I'm talking. Okay, so the hole is back here, and so what I'm gonna do with the hole is at the end, if I remember, I will put a green color because then you can, as a viewer, you look at it and you say, hey, that is not part of the flower. It has green here, green here, but it wouldn't have a green there. So you will understand that that is actually the atmosphere behind these two petals. Now there should be a petal because there's three of them, right? Uh, you know, trust me because I look at look at uh, uh, iris a lot, and because uh, I love my iris. So I'm what I'm going to do is I'm just slightly going to put a petal over here. I then draw that, okay. I'm just going to suggest to you that, hey, there is a petal. There's another petal, but very, very gently. Okay, over there. And do you know that I am looking at my... Uh, I'm using a camcorder now, okay? And uh, I'm looking at my viewfinder. Okay, just uh, just like the way I do the, um, I do the uh, poppy, okay? I'm just suggesting... I'm just like slapping down color, suggesting that to your mind that there is something else over there. I'm looking at my viewfinder and the color is absolutely white, almost white. So, um, so, but I know that, you know, now I have a really, I have a light over here, a light over here. This one is uh, 2,500 lumen. This one is big lumen. Oh, I didn't even turn on the back one. Ah, I'll just turn it on and I have sunlight coming in there. That's why the backlight doesn't really make that much of a difference. I just turn it off. But, uh, uh, but when it comes back to actually the real painting, um, uh, the real video after I upload it, it's not that bright. But to me, I'm <laughs> I'm under a lot of light, and it can be a little bit hot. So my house, uh, so I'm doing the green right because I I know that the flower has green. Okay, so the same thing as I what I do here. Okay, so I do some green over there. Because it's just very, very pretty to, you know, nature is just so pretty, right? Because uh, this green will give us a little bit of a break from the such intense of the purple, okay? Now I'm going to come back here with the paint spray. Ah, uh, should I do that now? Okay, let's just do that now while it's uh, still a little bit wet, okay? It's the same as this, you know, so what I'm doing is I am going to create that uh, pushback of the, of the petal because I'm using a darker color, a gray color, okay? So that um, it will be more, uh, I'm enhancing the form, okay? You can see that, right? That is a little bit strong, but I like it. I like the way it looks. But this part, I'm just gonna leave that alone because I'm gonna do yellow. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this off for one second. Ah, I hope everything is in there. If I for forget to put my SD card in there, I'll be in big trouble, right? I do that, I push it off and then I push it back on because I, uh, you know, I, uh, I'm aware that, you know, even with the best camcorder, um, you don't, uh, they don't like to, um, uh, they don't know, I'm doing this pedal right here, okay, very, very fast, okay, I'm gonna do it fastly for you, because I know that, um, that is kind of fun to watch too, okay, okay, more intense pigment, right, so I'm gonna put a lot of pigment down, okay, but still, I'm going to come in here and pull the, Pull this out with water, okay? Now remember, okay, the water should not be, uh, uh, should not uh, be very, 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 very wet, okay? So just kind of damp. Okay, so I'm gonna pull this in. Okay. And this is, this, uh, the style of this is very, very close to the, because you know, as you you know you uh, you know become more proficient with this, you can actually do that a little bit fast. Okay, I pull the color out, pull the color out, and then uh, now I had it a little bit too wet. I don't like it, so I'm gonna try to you know uh, dry my brush a little bit and make sure that the, there's not a lot of wet waters. Okay, okay, and that's that. That's the that's this petal over here. Okay. Now I say, oh, okay, maybe I need a little bit more intense. Now that the petal is wet, it's kind of fun, you know, to just add a little bit more of the wetness of the pigment to it and just let the color just um, just have a good time and uh, do its thing. So it's doing its thing over there, okay? So we're going to leave her alone and then work on this one, okay? You don't know how much I appreciate you guys. You always write me and tell me, hey, 
Kathy, I really like the way you teach us. Please, please don't worry about the time. Okay, so I'm go not going to, you know, we're just going to have fun together, okay? And if it is too long, then just pause it. Just pause it and, uh, you know, come back to it when you, uh, when you, uh, you know, just find a spot where you think is a good time and then just kind of pause it, okay? And then you can come back when you have more time, okay? Intense color, intense color, okay? Over here. Okay, now this is the center part and this is the yellow part, okay? So I'm just going to kind of do the vein over there. We actually don't need to do that. Um, okay, and now with the very, very uh, dryish, dryish brush, you know, but not too dry. Of course, we can't make the brush dry <laughs> now that you have gotten it wet, okay? And just pull the color and soften it as you approach the center part, okay? Now, uh, let's uh, put more intense pigment over here. So we're dropping pigment. You can actually add add intense pigment while it's wet. Okay. Now I really like this blue purple because it's just so wet. It's uh, I mean it's so intense. You know I just absolutely love it. And so next year when it's uh, iris season, you know maybe I'll go to a neighbor and do a different color one. How's that? Then we can always have fun. I don't I don't really believe that. Um, you know, with this is my style, right? I don't really believe that. Um, oh, I've done an iris already. Yeah, maybe I won't do it. And sometimes I might do two of them, because you know, it's whatever that the inspiration comes to your head, right? Who is uh, who is to tell us that we can't do two iris per year? But I'm not going to. <laughs> I'm not going to do a like full tutorial of iris. But nobody can tell us. Okay, we just do whatever we want, because it's our, you know, like, you know, I. Like if you like really love your doggy, okay, or your little cat, and uh, you know which I'm going to, you know, we're gonna have fun. We we will do some of those in the future, you know. And then you look at her one day, or you took a picture of the doggy or your little kitty, and you say, "Oh, I really like the way she is right now. It's so cute. I really want to do a painting." Now, um, am I going to tell you? Well, you already done it once. You know, don't do it again. You know, this year, you know. No, <laughs> you do, you do it like as much as you want, right? As many times because that's your inspiration, and you should go with it, you know. And uh, I think the American, uh, the their way of um, saying is what float your boat, right? That's that's how what you guys say, you know. It's really funny, you know. But I, th I guess it makes sense, you know. It's what float your boat, you know. And then you go ahead and do it, okay? We as artists, we should indulge our temperamentalness, okay? And uh, just let ourselves uh, do. Now you, you can see that the flower is actually a really big flower here. Okay, and so it's. Uh, I'm gonna. That is very wet, and so we're gonna do veins over here, and I'm gonna do the yellow. Okay, so it just uh, give us a, a break. Okay, on the eye, and so I'm going to do a change to a number two. Uh, but if you are proficient with your brush, you can actually do the big brush. It really is not. Uh, I'm using the cadmium my, in my green mix, the cadmium uh, yellow medium. Okay. <clears throat> and so this is now you uh, as you can tell well if you go and look at the iris this yellow part sticks out okay it has little stamen almost that stick out like this okay so I'm going to you know just follow the temperament of the flower or the composition of the flower and do it that way okay but you know and so ever so light slightly here and there I'm gonna leave some white but the problem is you know no matter what you do, you still need another um, color, which we're going to do, okay? So this is cadmium yellow uh, medium, okay? So uh, I hope you can see that I'm doing up and down stroke right here, okay? Just doing the stroke, but, you know, you know, it's the color, right? So I'm not going to really worry about it too much, okay? And then, uh, and just, you know, kind of do that, okay? And then I'm just going to pull the color out, you know, and just kind of let it, disappear into you know the center of the flower okay just like that now so it's kind of wet so I'm gonna let it dry you know and I'm going to get the same pigment and do this part right here this one right here same I'm doing strokes up and down okay but they overlap each other and this is watercolor right and they're gonna merge into each other but that's okay I will show you how I'll separate them in a very in a second okay after this part is done. 
I'm not worried. I leave some white here and there, okay? Some white color, and then I'm going to uh, use some pigment and pull this out. Or water to pull that out, okay? So now you can see that, right? I got the middle of the of the iris done, and do the same thing over here, okay? Ah, there is a, you know, I I sometimes I forgot because um, you know, with uh, yellow, um, if you um, leave the pencil mark, then the pencil mark will show. Now it doesn't really bother me that much, but I think you know, just to be more proper with you guys, you know. You know, uh, I, I should uh, get the pencil mark out. Actually, you know, sometimes I, I go to museum. I, li I like to do that a lot. I actually really like that when I see the pencil mark of the artist, you know, with their watercolor. Because, you know, well, this is how I look at art, too, okay? Um, with art, you really need to love the artist and get to know the artist, okay? Because you wanted to know why does the artist now? This is quinacridone gold right here. Okay, I only have a little bit over here because I forgot <laughs> that I needed to use this color, and so I'm going to go in here and it's plenty. Okay, now when this is dry, I'm going to because quinacridone gold. Oh, I got the I got this a little bit just a second. I got my hand on the on my paper, which is okay. Don't worry. Um, now uh, with um, quinacridone is a little bit uh, darker than cadmium yellow light or cadmium yellow medium, right? And so what I do to separate so you can see the stamen going out is I go in there and I do a little stroke again or a little stroke and dots, okay? So you can see that, you know, just, uh, you know, a little bit more further enhance the, the um, you know, the shape, okay? So this is to separate it so you can see that there's actually a little little stroke here coming out, okay? And so there's two kinds of yellow, right? We had the cadmium yellow medium and now I'm the putting the quinacridone gold. I actually asked my daughter to give it back to me and she's very happy to oblige because I gave her one, one time and uh, I say, you know, Elisa, you know, it probably will do mommy more good if you give me back the quinacridone gold and I'll find you some other painting. So I'm gonna see her in a month here in Texas and so I'm going to go get it back and then I have two Conecodon gold how lucky it's the one that uh, Daniel Smith actually discontinued so I'm very very happy to you know I gave her one and I'm gonna take it back okay now because I've done that already so this part is done right and so I'm gonna put a little bit of green over here and a little bit of green over there okay I I uh, I'm such a, a strange giver I like to take my stuff back once a while, okay? And uh, that's that's just the way I am. <laughs> Not mean, just because I, I know that uh, I needed it right now, you know, because I'm doing so many videos, right? When I gave her, when I gave her the, um, the Quinecodon Go, I actually never really imagined I'm going to, you know, I'm going to do this, uh, do YouTube, you know, because I'm on the shy side and I don't like to hear my own voice, but now I'm getting used to it. So there is hope, right, for everyone that are very shy, doesn't like to. Okay, I'm doing a little bit of green over there too, okay? Just to break up the the color of the, it's such an intense purple color, okay? Now, before I forget, I told you that we're gonna, um, I don't like having uh, too many of uh, one purple color. So now is the time. Actually, later is the time too, if you forget. I'm going to go into my uh, quinacridone violet and just, uh, now I'm dropping it in here and there, okay? I do that with my watercolor. It could be my style, okay? It could be um, some other people might do that. I don't know. Um, didn't really pay attention. Uh, that uh, after a color dry, I actually can layer another color on top. Slightly, slightly. And not recklessly, okay? And, uh, you know, you might not even see it because they are from the same, you know, kind of violet family. And uh, but it is very pleasing to the eye when you um, when you uh, come back and you know look at the whole painting. So I kind of like to do that, okay? And uh, you know, since I you know when I'm doing video, I paint with you. Um, I uh, you know sometimes I forget that I need to do things like that, and so you know as I remember, I wanted to do it now, okay? And then we're gonna spend some time. Uh, let's see, 11 minutes. Okay, now I'm 
Then I promise you, I won't worry about time. <laughs> but look at me, I am worrying, right? I am worrying about time. Now, um, uh, let me say one thing at a time first, okay? Now, over here, there is this is dry, right? Right here. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just kind of use this brush, and it might have a little bit, a little bit of water in it. Not, not a lot, okay? I'm going to come over here and just put some make it a little bit damp and then I'm going to go in my paint spray and I'm going to further enhance this this area okay and so it just uh, further push it back because I, I really want the you know want the flower to go up like a cup right and so I further push it back and so that is kind of fun now this part is going to be the atmosphere right I know that I'm going to forget so I'm going to go into my uh, um, my uh, uh, perline green and my indigo okay and i'm going to go in here i really should use a bigger brush at this point but heck you know and i'm going to go in there and i'm going to put some green there so that and even a little bit of sap green okay i can just mix it all in there so maybe it will give you an illusion that it is the, the atmosphere at the back. It will look more like an atmosphere once I add the atmosphere. So this part will be consistent with over there. Now I'm going to do the vein, but I, I, you know, there is a lot of vein, but I don't do a lot of vein. This is in my practice, okay? I'm going to show you because I don't like it too busy. If we put sufficient veins of the flower in there, the viewer will be able to see that. And so I'm going to use my uh, little, little uh, number zero brush, okay? This is just uh, 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 a man-made hair of some kind. Um, and so I'm going to go in and just show you how I do my vein. I'm going to let you look at my end painting and uh, ha take your time to do as many vein or as little vein as you want, okay? And so, uh, but I'm going to show you sufficient so that you will know what to do but not do the whole thing because you know, there's still time that I am concerned about, okay? Now, so let's, uh, let's uh, start over here, okay? I always like to start where the divot is. Like, if there's a part where it curves in, okay? Now, this brush, you know, I know that. I know you guys can see that it is, uh, <laughs> it is kind of sad because, um, you know, I had it, like, what, a few months, you know? I had it since I started doing my YouTubes, and uh, it is... Uh, is already you know not coming into a point for me but I, I still work with things like that I actually have one that's right next to me if I'm a little too annoyed maybe I will go to that one but uh, you know okay so this is how you do the vein okay now I need some vein that's coming here okay and if you are not quite sure how the shape of the vein uh, does go then you uh, you might want to go into printers or somewhere and find you a, a really nice picture of uh, of an iris preferably this uh, purple one and then you can um, just kind of follow it along okay and uh, just you know uh, so I use quite intense of the pigment and then I come down okay and uh, just kind of you know so you can see that from here and there and your mind will fill that up. Your mind will, you know, uh, as time, you know, as uh, people that look at painting or, you know, Patreon, and they, your mind, their mind will, um, will fill up the rest of the vein. So what I'm saying is, you know, you don't need to, you don't need to put down every single one. You know, as you know me by now, if you have, and uh, this is not your first one following me, you know, I, I don't like to have things too busy. Okay, so the vein is going down. Okay, now there's uh, there is a turn right here. Okay, there's a turn right here. So I I kind of want to accentuate accentuate that a little bit. Okay, okay, look just like that. Isn't that pretty? If I may say so. Okay, now this part I'm not going to put veins there. Okay, uh, if I if I do, it will be very very light because the the part of the flower had folded over. Okay, to the other side. So. I don't need to put veins over there, and it, it really is good for the mind to have a break. Your painting will look a lot better if you give people breaks, okay, and not uh, uh, 
not say oh but nature has like 5,000 things and I'm going to do all 5,000 of them and one is going to take you a long time but if it is worth it then you know of course we will do it right but um, to me as my art uh, my art experience tell me I'm just deepening the center thing um, uh, my art experience had told me that don't do that okay I don't uh, fill out every single thing that you see even though after you do it a little while it become kind of fun but just uh, try to uh, not do that okay then it will be a, it will be the style and the, everything will be more pretty my daughter actually got me another brush uh, another one of these brush for Christmas and I you know I just don't take them out I don't you know uh, that's just me <laughs> Thank you for putting up with me. Okay, there's a little bit of a vein that come here, okay, that we need to do that. Because, no, now what the vein actually help us, you know, with this flower is, it actually help us um, look at, look and see the the direction, okay? Now, there's the, you know, before I, uh, now what, what I did is just soften the vein, I need to put a little bit, one or two very, very soft vein over here, okay? And that one go in with rigor and so I soften it okay now I told you that there's this this petal and this petal here right and so what we're gonna do right now is we use the vein to separate it and I'll show you uh, what I mean okay so I'm going to go right here you know and have the vein coming this way right because the flower is coming this way so I'm having the vein come this way okay so the vein is coming that way and so your eye will tell you oh there's a petal and it's coming down that way okay so that needs to be done those veins okay because it actually help us to separate things I hope I'm not picking up here here and there I guess a very very good brush at this point will be very very important because then you don't need to struggle and fight. I actually had a little Chinese one that I got from the Oriental Art Supply people and that I, I wanted to, like, I, I'm gonna see if I can see that and see if uh, you want me to, to switch over. Okay, now you can see the vein is coming this way, right? So to the viewer's eye, they know that uh, how the flower shape is going, okay? Okay, it's going that way. Right? So it tells you that there's a petal that's coming this way, coming down this way. So we need to get these veins going. Okay. And so let me do a, a couple more over here. Okay, you see that? You know, so, you know, with you, the viewer, you see that. You know that, that there's a flower. Now, this part over here with the folded flower, the vein go a different way. Okay, isn't that nice? And so we're going to do veins over here. And it's coming this way. And so your eye will hopefully separate this one from that one because you can say hey the vein is not going the same direction why is that oh because it's a different part of the it's a different part of the flower it's a different petal and so you will be able to tell the difference so you know i am grateful for the veins that iris is so beautiful okay now so if the vein is going this way then pretty soon your your eye, uh, the viewers, I can actually say, oh, this flower is actually a folded one. Because if it is not folded, then you will have veins coming this way, right? So make sure you don't do that, okay? If that's not confusing enough, <laughs> but um, actually, I think you know what I'm uh, trying to uh, describe to you, okay? So now I have vein coming up this way, and it's important to put those veins there because it suggests to the eye that this is a different petal than this one. I mean, it's the same petal, but it's folded over, okay? I wish you can see this uh, in person. It really looks very, very pretty. And so I'm going to just do uh, a little bit more over here, okay? So that you can see, okay, I'm gonna turn this painting because that will be easier for me to get the vein coming out this way. And then I'm going to go to different part and then let you finish up the veins of the painting okay but when I show this to you in the intro then I will have all the veins done that I wanted to okay so this uh, there should be a little bit coming out this way okay and then what would the stat always also tell you is that's the edge of the petal see 
Okay, so this uh, iris flower really, the nature of the flower really helps a lot in uh, making herself a, a very, very pretty flower. Okay, now I wanted to show you this part. Okay, so what I'm going to do also, there are veins here, right? And so I'm just going to slap it on, okay, like that, and then quickly go and soften it, okay? So that there will be also veins showing you the direction of the petal and making the cupping shape even more intense, okay? Look at that, isn't that fun? Okay, and so you need to do something over here, okay? So don't forget to do that. And so uh, maybe a little bit over here, but don't worry about that one, okay? So I'm telling you this because I'm going to just leave you. <laughs> leave you with the vein. Okay, now I'm going to start a little bit of the vein over here so that you will uh, see a little bit and then I'm going to also uh, leave you and uh, do the little part on the other side, okay? Because you know time, right? Okay, so what I'm doing is I'm using my brush and I'm going into the indigo. Indigo is a dark color because this part is so dark, okay? But we still need to do a little bit of veins over here, okay? So I'm doing an indigo, okay? And uh, so that it gives us a little bit of the direction of the flower. Okay, you see that? Okay, so because the, the indigo, now this part is so dark, right? But I'm, I'm counting on the indigo to be able to break through that darkness and still give us a little bit of the vein. Okay. So I'm putting indigo actually on top of uh, the dioxazine purple, you know, so that you know that. I will mention that to you and don't worry about it. It really works, okay? Okay, I'm going to put some pretty vein over here. put some pretty vein over here and so as I was like talking to you earlier I was gonna tell you that uh, I am uh, actually in a very very hot <laughs> because of the light right but oh man you know um, camcorder you know um, I guess uh, if you are just uh, doing a uh, like I don't know, uh, you know, talking about things, you know, on YouTube, you don't need to have very, very good light. But as artists, we just need very, very good light because you just want the brilliancy of the color just show through, right? And so uh, my husband actually spent a lot of time, uh, not really a lot of money. This 25, um, this 25, um, 100 lumen is on only, oh my gosh, it's only uh, maybe $5 each and it's like huge and it also is a non-flickering so what it does for us is um, for me now I'm going back to the purple okay and I wanted to do a couple of things going down this way okay so that that further suggests the direction of the pedal okay now you see that I've done some things over here right now I so I'm counting on you yourself to go in and maybe add some over here okay don't forget that part and maybe a little bit over here okay now um, I might need to do a little bit over here, but not, uh, not a lot, okay? Just a little bit. Because this free pedal over here is more intense, so you don't really need to, um, you know, worry about the, you know, worry about the detail, maybe. This is really the focal point right there, okay? Isn't this fun? Are you guys having fun? I hope you're having fun with me. I was going to tell you how uh, how COVID was, if you're interested. I had two days of uh, fever, okay, and so just some indigo and then some direction, directional of the vein, okay? Just uh, put some over here, just a little bit, maybe one or two over here. I had two days of fever because I, I do have had my vaccine already, and I am 55 years old. I forgot about my own age, and... Uh, so um, it wasn't really too bad, but then I lose my voice. And uh, the hardest part is it make you very, very thirsty for some reason. I was very, very thirsty for uh, two weeks and I even used um, electrolyte to help me in my water and such, you know, and I tried to not eat inflammatory food, but it was still very hard. And at night, okay, it actually keep me from falling asleep, the thirst or staying asleep, let's just say that, okay? A vein over there, okay? And I wanted to intensify the green a little bit, okay? A green, 
well, this uh, doesn't pick up that much pigment, so I'm going to go back in with the little bigger brush and take some of my sap green and put some over here, okay? A little bit more green over here. It's just my artist's preference because I'm looking at it and I say, it would be nice if I get more green. And that part is really hard to explain why. It's just um, the way you look at things, you know. And then you say, wow, that now is more consistent. Now, um, and so I'm going to leave you over there and spend the rest of time on this little one because there's something I wanted to show you. And that thing is the, the papery part of the of, um, <clears throat> of uh, iris, okay? See, I'm clearing my throat. Um, it's been two weeks and a few days I'm still having to clear my throat. Okay, this papery part of, over there, okay? I wanted to show you that before I before I'm done with uh, this paint along. Okay, now so I'm going in with a sepia. Not a lot of pigment, okay? I pick that up and I'm going to go in here and, and put a little bit of sepia. Now, but I'm not going to put a lot. And now I'm quickly, I'm coming to pull out the color and soften the sepia color. Okay, you see that? And I will show you right away why I do that, okay? But let's do the other side of the papery, the papery shell, I guess, you know, of the, of the, uh, of the iris, okay? And pull that out. Now, this papery is actually kind of translucent, okay? So that, that is the step one, okay? I put a little bit of sip here and I need to let it dry. So let's like do the do the little bud color. It doesn't have to be very, very intense, okay? So just like that, you outline that a little bit with your pigment and then quickly you come in and pull it out, okay? Because this is not the focal point and I think that with nature, as I, with all my picture that I take with my iris, okay, that's good. That's good enough. You just want some color. Now, when you pull out color, okay, I'll do it one more time and I'll try to explain, okay? Now, I come in here and look like I'm outlining, I'm outlining my, uh, my, uh, my uh, little butt over here, okay? But this is when I, you know, because we don't want outline, okay? We want everything to be irregular and soft, okay? So this is how I soften it, okay? And make sure that there's not an outline. And to make sure more, I'm gonna come in and drop some color over there, okay? And, and disperse it, let the paper do its magic, okay? And then I might come in here with some, uh, the, uh, with some green, okay? Now, over here, and I trust that it is a little bit uh, dry so that there's no mixing color, okay? I'm going to go in with a little bit of green, with a little bit of my sap green mixed with a little bit of praline, and I'm going to put it there. Now, what I'm doing is actually fooling the eye to see that you can actually see through and see the green in, inside the bud, okay? Inside the bud of the flower, okay? So, I'm going to like kind of do a, a little shape over there and then come in and soften it. You know, so that's how I do, um, what do you call that? Uh, kind of uh, translucent thing in nature, okay? Now, I'm not quite happy with um, the way it's looking, so I need to come in with the sepia and actually give it a little bit of a divide that shape uh, from each other, okay? So that's why I did, okay? And then a little bit more over here, okay? A little bit more, just here and there. And then I will, when this is totally dry, I will come in and put in with some sepia and put in some vein. Oh, the vein actually, yeah, it goes this way, okay? Because I'm now look at, I'm looking at my uh, sketch and I did the vein part, okay? And so there's a little part over there, there, and I'm going to do a little bit, not, not, not really a lot, okay? Because this part is not going to be taking away from the, you know, from the uh, from the painting, right? From this beautiful, uh, if I may say so. So I'm gonna pull this out, you know, so it, you don't see an outline. Okay, no outline. Okay, pull that, and then you can see because people have seen enough of um, of uh, iris. Uh, especially American people, I don't know if, uh, and so you don't really, uh, you will know that that's the papery part, you know, I don't really have to worry about it, you know, that you will misunderstood it to be something else, okay? The papery part of the, but I will come in and, pull in the, and put in the vein, okay? Now there's a little stem over here, and then I'm going to 
uh, make sure that I come in and look around and say, okay, you need a vein here and then you need some vein there, and then I'll do that. And then, so right now I'm going to do the little stem over here with you. Uh, it's nothing much than uh, just the praline and the uh, sap green, okay, color. And then I'm going to just slightly over here do kind of like a tubular and leaving some white okay now so that's oh sorry <laughs> that's about all I'm gonna do you know just right there and pulling out the color and I want this part to be a little bit darker so I might go in the indigo and mix it with some of my praline green and then drop the color in while it's still a little bit wet okay you see that This is definitely not intense enough, okay? But when the paper is still wet, it will be very, very hard pressed for you to, um, uh, for me actually, and you and everyone who do watercolor to make it more intense. So now this is how I'm gonna leave it. And when it's dry, I will come in with uh, dark green or indigo and, and, oh, let's put a little bit more sap green, okay? Over here, a little bit more sap green, okay? So. And then I will darken this part, okay? And so right now I'm just going to do a couple of uh, fantasy kind of leaf on the back and then I will do the background and then you'll be able to see. So this doesn't take us uh, that much of a long time, but uh, as I already promised you, I'm not going to worry. Okay, now, um, so my daughter told me and I say, hey, okay, you know, I was about this, um, uh, that's the blade, right? So they're all bladed. And so it doesn't need to be very, very, uh, what, what is the word for it? It doesn't need to be very, very um, uh, uptight, okay? We're just suggesting it over there. And so, uh, you know, I was, I'm now talking about camcorder, okay? And because I was talking to her and then she, I, you know, I asked her, I said, hey, the camcorder is not like doing, uh, you know, it's not very bright. And so I tried to turn up the, uh, what do you call that, the exposure, and it turned out to be a flop, it didn't do very well. And so I tell myself, oh, okay, so that is not a good thing to do. And, um, and so I have all these light shining on, and so I hope that, you know, if you uh, find that, and my, my daughter told me that people will do that, and I hope she's right, that when they, uh, now I'm going to drop in some purple over here, just so that it can be consistent, okay? It's really fun drop in some purple and she said that you know people will turn on their 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 the brightness of their computer and so I encourage you to do that to uh, follow her advice if um, because a camcorder are not as good as the phone the phone will you know make the color really bright I don't understand that but uh, now I'm using the camcorder the focus is better and I really like it I really like it and then uh, get me off using my phone okay so I'm putting some in the go and this is my green color mix, right? And I'm mixing it with my sap green. Okay, just gonna keep pulling the color out a little bit. I have a strict line over here and I'm actually going to disperse this other side, you know, just for fun. And so you see it and then you don't, okay? So that you don't have to be, because this is the background, right? And so we don't have to worry about it too much, okay? Okay, so this is like kind of uh, down there like that, okay? So that is that is actually quite fun. And so what I'm going to do is like do a little bit of this side and then I'm just going to go in and let me think, okay? So I think I get everything that I needed to show you here and then I'm going to do this one just for you for a little bit more, okay? So I'm going to put in some indigo first, okay? Put in some of the sap green, okay, just so make it kind of fantasy and even praline green, okay, over here. And I really like the, I really like the bright light, even though it's making me, you know, hotter, you know, and so now it's in the middle of summer and I, you know, going in here a little bit careful, okay, so that it won't mix in the color. And, uh, and so it is a little bit of a, uh, I have to have my door open so my cooler so air will come in here. But I like I really like the light because it just uh, make the color uh, very very true, 
you know. Even me as an artist looking at it, it's very very true. You know, I can actually see the praline green a little bit more of a difference between indigo and the praline green, and so that's kind of good. Okay, so since I'm butting against the purple, I kind of wanted some indigo over there. Just an artist decision. Artist decision. It really doesn't. Okay, I'm pulling it down here just so that it's continuous, but um, do not need to uh, be really uh, worry about that. Okay. The composition of the painting is actually good, and uh, so we don't need to really worry about, uh, you know. And so I might just put another one coming this way, you know, a little bit, okay? And then that will be, you know, just uh, here and there to suggest that the leaf, right? Because we don't want to not suggest, not uh, be true to the nature and have the leaf around, okay? And make sure that uh, people can see that. There are leaves coming here and there, but uh, you know, not too, uh, you know, it's kind of fan fantasy, okay? Fantasy, I don't know what a big, uh, a better word to describe it, but so that it won't be, you know, very loose, okay? Very nice and loose. I might have one coming, I might have one suggestion of a stamp over here, you know, just, uh, you know, so just so that you can see, okay? And so, now don't forget to just, uh, do more of that outline yourself a little bit more okay don't make it too busy and then I will have this uh, at the intro part and thank you for so much for being my friend uh, thank you for subscribing to my channel and coming here and paying along with me I hope you like this I very much like that and then I will just uh, you know do some a little bit of the background because I don't quite like so much uh, white color so I want uh, there's too much strict line so I'm gonna but the strict line is contrasting the curve line right and so I'm going to do some kind of curvy line you know closer to it then you know just uh, make it so it become like kind of fun painting and so thank you so much and don't forget to subscribe to me if you haven't yet okay and uh, say hi to me I really appreciate all of your comment because you guys are just so much fun um, being my friends and uh, you know telling me uplifting things you know to encourage me you know that you like my painting um, you know that you like painting along with me and uh, you know I actually have some people from Thailand and one person actually from Hong Kong and so hi uh, if you go uh, paint along this one with me I like I like that it was very fun I I was wondering if somebody uh, from overseas will join us and they do and so that is really kind of fun. We have people from Hong Kong painting with us, people from Thailand. I, I'm just doing the papery part where I'm talking, okay, and saying goodbye. And so that makes me very, very happy. And so what I did is I just used some sepia and do some suggestion of the line. But like we say, you know, don't do too much of a, don't do too much of a, a intense line over there now, okay? Because uh, we don't want that. We don't want the detail to take from this from there, okay? And so. People know what we're trying to do over here, so just uh, do that, okay? And uh, okay, I'll just turn the uh, camcorder off and see you guys later, okay?